guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Brilliant Diamond walkthrough. Okay, so, what's up, what's up, what's up? In our last episode, we uh, went to the Valley Windworks, defeated everybody, took on a few, uh, you know, uh, Team Galactic Clowns, and now it is finally time for us to actually move on to the next route because, well, shoot, man, we need to, we need to explore this place. We need to find out what, you know, the, the Sino region has for us. And, well, as you can see, there is a golden tree right here. I, I like to call it a golden tree, but this is a sweet, uh, sweet smelling tree to where you can actually, you know, get some rare Pokemon with the honey. Talk to this kid. He's like, if you slather honey on a sweet smelling tree, Pokemon may be attracted by the sweet scent. You don't say. I'm like yawning right now. Okay. Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's go ahead and start battling some Pokemon because, yes, we need to battle people. We need to be strong like nobody else could ever be. So here we go, taking on Camper Jacob. And, uh, well, would you look at that? He's coming out with a Ponyta. Hmm. You don't think we can find a Ponyta around here? Because if we can, then we're gonna get a, we're gonna capture it. And look at this, level 14. So now they're stepping up their game just a little bit. And well, Ponyta's using a growl. My Pokemon are gonna are gonna gain some experience. Either way, guys, I'm just you know I'm just saying it right here. So here we go, Mog Punch. And that Mog Punch did not work really really well. So here comes an Ember attack again. And, uh, well, it's not that effective, so let's just use the Fury Swipes just for shits and giggles right here. Look at this. You know, the Skibbity Patch. That's what I call it, the Skibbity Patch attack. Oh, there we go. And just like that, we're gaining some experience points. And we defeated Camper Jacob, so yes, we are... Yes. Yes, we are. We, we, we are uh, liberated right here. Okay, so let us move on right here. I think you can find a uh, Ponytail around here. And good gravy, he's caught me. In the act, there's no mountain here, but I'm dressed like to hike. <laughs> here he goes. Alrighty, okay, so let's go right ahead and uh, continue on with this battle right here. He has four Pokemon, so let's go right ahead and, uh, you know, get a little lit and actually use some of our other Pokemon like Rosemond, because, uh, yeah, I'm starting to, starting to think Rosemond right here is a pretty good Pokemon, and, uh, well, let's go with a mock up, or no, not a mock up punch, but a uh, power up punch. And that nearly defeats this guy, but it increases our attack just a tad bit. And, well, here comes the Rock Polish. This guy is going to be a little faster than us right now. So let's go right ahead and use a Mog Punch just so we won't get hit. So here we go, Mog Punch for the win. Say goodbye to Geodude. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're, we're, we're doing some stuff right here. Okay, and he is going to be coming out with a Machop right here. So... I do not have a Pokemon for this situation. Yeah, you know what? Let's go right ahead and just uh, continue on with the battle right here since, you know, our attack is right there. So let's go straight for an Ember attack. And, uh, well, there we go. Ember attack. Hits it pretty hard. And here comes a low kick attack. Oh my god, Infernomon, you got hit, but guess what? Here comes another Ember attack. And there we go. Say goodbye to Machop. Alright, 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 okay. And a Toxic Batman grows to level 13. And now we're going with a Geodude. So let's go with Rosemon right here. Been meaning to use this Pokemon a little bit more than usual. Uh, mainly because I, I, I am thinking of using this Pokemon on my team for the foreseeable future. Again, in this walkthrough, I kind of want to use some Pokemon that are out of the ordinary. Like, you guys have seen me use some of, like, similar Pokemon that a lot of YouTubers use. And I kind of want to use this guy right here because of its final evolution. And, well, look at that. We have defeated Geodude pretty quickly. And Ultra Psycho has grown to level 16. And, well, they're going to come out with a Beedoo. So, let's go back to Infernomon. There we go. Infernomon. Let's get it. We're going to do this. Infernomon is about to destroy whoever is in front of me right here. So, let's go straight for the Mach Punch. And there we go, Mog Punch for the win. Okay, all right, look at that. And there we go, Electro Star grows into the level. Okay, see, we're kicking some ass, guys. We're really, we, we, we really are kicking some ass. So after that, guess what happens? Digivolution time. What? Ultra so Psycho is evolving. So here it is, guys. Ultra Psycho is evolving into its next stage, which is an, uh, a Kadabra. Mind you, 
I've already gotten a Kadabra in my other uh, my other walkthrough, or not my other walkthrough, but my other uh, my other uh, what you might call it, uh, my other game right here. So here we have Kadabra and Kadabra, the psychic Pokemon right here, four foot three and 124 pounds of pure mental madness. And if one of it, or if one is nearby, an eerie shadow appears on TV screens. Seeing the shadow is said to bring bad luck. Oh, damn. That is not good. And it has finally learned confusion. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab that. And let's see. I kind of want to do something right here. Hold on. No, 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 no. Let's go ahead and... It looks like you have to go to the... You have to go to, uh... It looks like to me that you actually have to go straight to the Pokemon Center to do that. So I'm going to take care of that a little later. Actually, you know what? Let's go Let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go straight back to the Pokemon Center because I kind of want to do something right here for you guys. So I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, guys. So here we are back into the Pokemon Center. And I'm actually in the Union Room right here. Or I'm going to be going to the Union Room because I do have my Pokemon Pearl game with me right here. So what's going to happen is we're going to go straight to the Union Room. We're going to actually, you know, save our game and all that crud. And yes, we are now saving. And there we go. And enjoy your time in the local uh, union room. So right here, the union room. You can interact with other players by visiting the union room inside the Pokemon Center. So, okay, so we're going to be going in. And, well, you guys can't see it off screen right here. But I am actually using my Pokemon Pearl game. Or Shining Pearl. And right now, it is making contact with whatever game that is nearby. And, well, let's see. Oh, that's, okay, so... As you can see, the one that's moving right here, that is me. That is actually me in the other version in Pokemon Shining Pearl. So, we're going to be talking right here. Or, I don't know. Hold on. Let me talk to this person right here. Welcome to the local area. Okay. Uh, never mind. Okay, so let's just go right ahead and talk to this individual. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, what if we press B, A, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so I'm trying to figure this thing out right here. Okay. Right here. Now you guys can't really see what's going on on my other screen. Let's see. What if? What if? Uh, let's see. I'm pressing Y. Nope. Uh, what if I go right here? Hold on. I, I do not know what to do. Holy crud! <laughs> uh, okay. You know what? Let's go. Let's. See. Yeah. This is the. Okay. Tell me more. Okay. How to play? You can talk to someone to sign up a trade in battle or use Y button to choose what you'd like to do and put up your own sign. Okay, so pretty call. And let's go ahead and trade. Okay, so we're trading. Call and trade. And it looks like to me. Huh. Let's see, it looks like to me that we are going to be trading or. <laughs> Hold on just a sec. Holy crap, holy crap. Okay. I'll be right back with you. Okay, so here we are, guys. There there I am on the other version. This is Edgar. Believe it or not, that is my middle name right there, guys. So, do you want to trade? Yes, let's go ahead and trade. Okay. Come on. Trade me. Okay, hold on. Yes, let's go. Yes, okay. So, the trade will begin. So, as you can see, guys, we are going to be trading some Pokemon right here. And because my my alter ego right now is uh, a little further along the, the adventure I am going to be trading ultra psycho and I'm going to have myself trade ultra psycho or cadaver back that way we both get a Pokemon evolving at the same time so here we are okay and we are communicating and we are trading Pokemon right now so as you can see guys we are trading Pokemon for the first time and I, I remember comment, like the comments down below that you guys said that you guys like it when I trade Pokemon or transfer Pokemon from uh, from other places. And here it is, guys. Bam! Trading back a Kadabra. Okay, alrighty. So we're both fulfilling something, and yes, we are taking good care of our Kadabras. And because of this trade, yes, Kadabra will be evolving. Okay, alrighty. Let's do this. Digivolution time. So... As you can see right here, we're seeing Kadabra evolve while my Ultra Psycho in the other version is evolving. Now, I am going to be trading them back because, well, one is level 22, the other one's level 16. 
So there it is, guys. We have got Alakazam for the first time. And, well... Let's see. Okay, so, as you can see right here, Alakazam the side Pokemon, 4'11", 105 pounds of pure mental uh, aspect or whatever it is. It's superb memory. It lets it recall everything it has experienced from birth. Its IQ exceeds 5,000. Now, if you guys are playing Pokemon Shining Pearl, yeah, the Pokedex entry is right here. It says, its highly developed brain is on par with a supercomputer. It can use all forms of psychic abilities. So that, that, that that's pretty cool right there. So there we go. We, we have Alakazam. Now, let's see. Do I have any other Pokemon in Shining Pearl that I would like to trade? I do. I do. I really do. Uh, let's see. Let me see. Let me see. Check the summary. It is, uh, oh! <laughs> okay, so there is one Pokemon that I do, I would like to trade over. I would like to, nah, actually, you know what, we're not going to trade it over because it, it's, it's not, it's not really, uh, it, it doesn't mean much. If you guys know what I'm talking about. So, what is going to happen right here is, let's see, do I have any other Pokemon that could evolve through trade? Mm, no. Most of these Pokemon are the same. Okay, so it looks like to me that we, we, we've gotten all the Pokemon that we needed. Let's see, I would love to trade this guy right here, but you know what? That's going to be for another episode right here. So, uh, so well, let's see, we're going to be trading back our Alakazam just to make sure that, you know, we have everything on par. So I'm going to go, like, I'm going to trade the Alakazam back, guys, and then I'm going to be back where, where, I, where I was battling the last person. So I'll be right back with you guys. See you. Alrighty, guys. So here we are back, and, well, let's go ahead and take a look at our newest Pokemon, Ultra Psycho's Alakazam. So two evolution in one episode, and right here we have Alakazam, the final form of Ultra Psycho right here. And it, well, yeah, as you can see, it's pretty timid. Everything is, you know, how it's supposed to be and all that crud. Now, its stats are through the roof right here. Special attacker and all that stuff. We all remember it from Generation 1 where it was just the broken Pokemon to be. But we finally have it here. Now, again, not going to be keeping this Pokemon on my team the whole entire time. I would just like to have it evolved and whatnot. And then just go through the whole Sinnoh region. You know, have a nice, uh, you know, a nice... A, a, a nice, uh, you know, a group of teams that I could uh, keep right here on Pokemon uh, Brilliant Diamond. So, anywho, let us continue right here with our little adventure. See if we can get some more evolutions. And, well, here we are going to be battling another Pokemon trainer. And, well, here she is, Aroma Lady Elizabeth. And, well, she's coming out with her Badoo. Now, let's see. We, are, we, we, we do have some work for our Rosemon right here. We do have a lot of work, and that, you know, just to get it to evolve into, uh, what was it? Not a Roserade, but, uh, shoot, I forgot the nickname, I forgot the name of the other Pokemon. See, this is what happens when you just don't remember, shoot. So, let's see. Yeah, we are getting paralyzed, thanks a lot. Okay, you know what, screw it, I got a way out of that, so let's go straight for a Mod Punch, and unfortunately, we cannot hit this Pokemon. This is ridiculous. Okay, so, the Worry Seed... Turns our thing into insomnia. Let's go with a mock punch. Come on! And we have our way with Badoo. Now the good thing is that we actually got ourselves a paralysis heal, so this right here will actually help us out. And uh, would you look at that? Rosemon grows to level 16. And just like that, we defeat another trainer, which is always great. It's always freaking great, guys. Alright, let's go ahead and heal up our Inferno Mon. Let's see, Inferno Mon. Man, you, you, you getting, uh, you getting beat, beat up a little. And there we are, getting another Pokemon battle right here. Okay, alrighty, so here we go. Taking on another camper, his name is Zachary, and he, he's gonna be coming out with his Geodude right here. And, uh, well, let's see. Come on, let's go Infernomon, time to do it, time to get to it. And, well, we're going to go straight for a mock Punch. Now, what we're doing now, so I'm, I'm obviously going to get my phone here just, just to try and figure out what Pokemon where this Pokemon evolves. And, well, there you are. Okay. So let's go ahead and press this button again. And here comes another mock Punch for the win. Okay, all righty. Whew. Look at this. And most of our Pokemon grow levels. Hydra as well. And now we're learning Flame Wheel. 
Okay, so let's see. Flame Wheel, this is more of a physical attack right here. I do believe our physical attack is being affected by our nature, so let's go right... Eh, you know what, screw it. Let's go for Ember attack right here. It really doesn't matter. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, learn Flame Wheel. And Hydra grows a little bit 14. And, well, there we go. We defeated another Pokemon trainer, and, well, let's see. Now, let's go downstairs right here, because there might be a little bit of an item, and yes, we have found in our ourselves an antidote, and, well, let's see. What else can we find right here? Nothing. Talk to this. Trainer tips, the items placed in your bag are automatically sorted to the appropriate pockets. It's very convenient. It's a trainer's best friend, which it is. It kind of is, and... Well, there's a trainer right there. Let's go downstairs so we can battle these trainers, get, to get ourselves some berries and, you know, items. And, well, here we are. First, let's get the items before we get caught. And look at that. We got ourselves a Pokeball. And let's go right here, grab this. And, yep, we got two Pekka Pecha berries. And then we got two Oran berries that we could probably use. And... Look at that. Okay. So let's go right ahead and switch out some Pokemon, okay? Now that we've seen a lot of Infernomon, let's go straight for another one right here. I would like to use Ultra Psycho now just to see how it handles. It is a very powerful Pokemon, so let's go right ahead and see what happens right here. Okay. Let's go. Let's get it. Do it. So let's see. Let's see. There we go. And. Roselia, that's what it's called right there. Holy crud, okay. So here we have an Alakazam, and joke's on you. Our physical attack is not that effective, so... Eat it! And here we go. Confusion attack. Super effective. Not really super effective, but you guys know what I mean. And there we go. Getting some experience points, and she's about to use a Pachirisu. So, let's go right ahead and... Go right ahead and continue on right here with the confusion attack. Yeah, you've never seen an Alakazam right here, right now. Well, now it is. Here we go. Ultra Psycho using the confusion. And let's try one more time. Ultra Psycho kicking some butt, taking some names. Look at you. And there we go. Look at that. Okay, so she is shocked that she lost, but you know what? It's no, it's no. It's no shock to us. This is exactly what we what we were planning for. So now let us move on to the next thing. Okay, so there is a trainer right here. And it would be nice. It would be nice to actually evolve Hydra right here in this episode too. Or, you know, or Badoo, because well obviously it's daytime, so it can't evolve right now, but I have to keep it happy and whatnot. So let's go right ahead and take on this trainer. And he's gonna be coming out with Onyx. Okay, Onyx. Let's see what you got. Let's see what you got, you Onyx-looking mother grabber. And, well, here we go. Oh, crap, Baskets. We, uh... <laughs> we didn't mean for that one. Okay, so it was a critical hit. And we're, uh, we're skippity-papping this guy three or four times. And just like that, it's four times. So here comes Onyx with his bind attack. Alrighty, okay, so... Let's see. Let's go right ahead and get hurt by Max Find, okay? Uh, okay. So, let's go Power Up Punch. And bam! Power Up Punch does its thing. And it increases its attack just a tad more. So, let's go again with another tackle attack on us. Now, I think Offscreen Mind did capture it in on us. Yeah, I did. Yeah, that the Onyx was being a little, you know, it's being a little uh, butt monkey and stuff. So, let's go with a uh, Mod Punch. Just to finish this guy off right there, and just like that, Onyx has been defeated. Even though it should have taken one turn. Yep, 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 yep. And, uh, well, look at this. More experience points for all of us right here. Toxic Batman grows to level 14, and, uh, well, Hiker Nicholas has been defeated. Okay, alright. So, we're doing a pretty good job right here, okay? Now, there are Pokemon. Remember, I, I will be taking a... Or, I will be uh, switching myself out, or, you know fast forwarding if there's a Pokemon that attacks us now. Let's see. Yeah. Let's just go Shellos, and I sort of maybe kind of caught it, so 
Let's go right ahead and continue on right here. This person probably does have fighting type Pokemon, so let's be prepared now that we got something in. Hey, I'm not trained to hold back! Just, uh, you don't say it. Me neither. Me neither. Okay, so let's go right ahead and take on Battle Girl Kelsey, and she is coming out with her Machop. Okay, alrighty. Machop is looking like, uh, you know, Prime, uh, 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 prime victim right here for our good old buddy Ultra Psycho. So let's go right ahead and go with the confusion attack. And just like that, Machop has been defeated by its superior. Yeah. Look at you. Look at you. Okay. And more experience points for all our Pokemon. And yeah, she didn't hold back, but she is conceding right here. Okay. So let's move on. Grab this. We found ourselves a repel. And. Well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and swap this Pokemon out. And let's see. I, I, you know what? Let's go Infernomon. Again, I want to use Badoo, but it, 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 knowing uh, knowing these uh, what you might call it, uh, knowing these uh, Camper Girls, they're probably gonna have like a Grass type here and there, and it's just gonna be one of those deals where it was just like, okay, well, whatever. All right, so let's go right ahead and battle. And oh, I don't know. Should I bet play a little? Yes, you should. Play a little with me. Come on. Let's play. A, let's, let's, let's go ahead and have some fun right here. So, let's go right ahead and uh, take on this Piplup right here. And crap baskets on Crapsicle 6. Yeah, we should have used Badoo. Damn you. Damn you. Okay. 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 So, let's go with a power up punch. It's a must. I got to. And there we go. It takes half its HP. And. Well, let's see, let's see. There we go. Try it again, power up punch. And there we go, Piplup has been defeated. Okay. And more experience points. Rosemont has grown to level 17, which is great. Uh, you know, little by little, we're, we're getting this Pokemon to grow up and actually evolve somehow. And uh, hopefully that will be in the future. And well, let's see, we've got a Pokeball right here. We found ourselves a potion. And, well, let's go straight back. I think there might be an item right here somewhere. Probably. I don't even know. Okay, so let's go in here. What is this place? Completely forgot what it was all about. Talk to this guy. You think you can get it through the Eternal Forest by yourself? Yes, I can. And, oh, yeah, this lady will actually have us uh, rest right here. So, it's all good. We're, we, yeah, we, we need the rest. We really do. Okay, so let's see. Is there anything else that I need to take care of? right here before we sign off oh yeah there is route 205 and we really can't do anything right here because that that's from somewhere else okay so this is where we're gonna stop right here guys in the next episode we will be going into the eternal forest and seeing what what kind of wonders it has right there so thank you guys again for watching thank you guys for subscribing make sure to you know press that bell button just so you can get the notifications I will see you guys in the next episode as we continue our adventure right here in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. See you guys.